Hi, you're watching David Madison Guardian. Um, sometimes you can't get the balance right. But what you can do is look at the shadow to generate more um, energy. And then suddenly you don't need the balance to be perfect. Basically, balance is a crutch that you use to get yourself, to get it moving, to get used to seeing it moving. And then as time progresses, and I'm not really there, but um, at some point you can move things even if they're flat on the ground. But balance, if you have just one point of contact, just the smallest point of contact, then you don't have a ton of inertia. And what you're looking to do is you're looking to gather up energy. Focus it, focus it, focus it, focus it. Focus it right around So I'm kind of looking almost in between the shadow and the stick. It's weird, like when my thumb goes over. That was cool. There it goes. Beautiful, beautiful. I was gonna say that every time my thumb kind of went over from this side to this side and back again, the camera would slightly dim and then brighten and dim and brighten or change contrast or something. It was strange. Okay, I'm gonna do what I was doing before, which is I'm basically curling my hands and now I'm just moving my thumb back and forth. And that seems to be a good technique. So there's this guy. <clears throat> His channel is called The Journal of a Jedi. And he has well over probably 500 videos by now. But he... What he started doing is, from the get-go, he was practicing with a camera in his hand, so he'd get used to it. But also, he'd watch his own recordings to see like what his hand was doing or what his body was doing. And he said he learned <clears throat> by re-watching things, he'd be like, oh, that worked, and that's worked, you know, several times or something, so. That's cool. I'm gonna turn it back.
see how it wants to go. It's shifting back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You see that? And very slightly. There we go. It's almost like, have you ever uh, been like in the bathtub or in the pool and you squeeze water and squirt, like squirt it out of your hand? It's almost like I'm doing that. So that there's a progression of pinky, ring, middle, index or pointer finger, and thumb. And feeling like here through in the palm so you gotta you kind of gotta find your own techniques here to practice telekinesis um, I practice both indoor and outdoor but it's so much easier outdoors um, I'm not saying it's impossible to like do really heavy stuff inside. I've seen other people on other channels do that kind of stuff. So I believe it's possible. Like Wayla Vlogs or Wayla Vlogs, something like that. He does kind of heavy stuff. But I don't just feel, I don't, I don't just try to feel things in my fingers, right? I feel like the hair on my knuckles. I feel, I try to feel stuff. I try to generate electricity inside my body. So I believe that you have energy centers. They're called chakras. There's seven of them. Some people believe eight, some people believe 13. Um, there's a guy on YouTube who's a yogi, and he says there's 121 total chakras in the body, but you only need something like 14 open to live a fulfilled life. So anyways, when I'm moving energy, it's not just about the fingers. Sometimes it is, but when I'm able to move heavy stuff, generate a lot of wind, um, I find that pulling from my core and up my body and up along the sides where my ribs are and up my back um, focusing on kind of that movement allows me to draw much more energy and it might be like denser energy that helps you move things okay that's enough for this video